Hi boys and girls, today I'd like to read a book to you from Scholastic Publishing called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. This is one of my favorite children's books. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. I wonder what that title means, The Giving Tree. We'll have to find out. Once there was a tree And she loved a little boy. Do you see the little boy? Oh, there he is. Just his foot. And every day the boy would come. Look, it looks like the tree is reaching out to the boy. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. It looks as though the tree might be playing too. He would climb up her trunk. See his feet and his hands? And swing from her branches. Do you see the boy up there? And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, the boy would sleep in her shade. Have you ever slept in the shade of a tree and felt the breeze? I have. And the boy loved the tree. They're hugging one another. very much. He wrote me plus tree. And the tree was happy. But time went by and the boy grew older. Now I see two people and two hearts. And the tree was often alone. Have you ever felt alone? Maybe cross your arms like this, like the way the tree does. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep them, me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house and then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. Do you think this will make the boy happy? And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree, and then you can sail away and be happy. 
And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. There's not much left of the tree, is there? And the ha tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, come sit. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The This is one of my favorite books. I'd like for you to write, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and write about the message you learned from the giving tree. Take a picture of your writing and send it to your teacher and share your thoughts about the giving tree. Thanks for watching.